Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding find the quiet students in all exams and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard and this question has been asked in Yahoo interviews over the past couple of years, a couple of times, right? Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called student with two different columns, student ID, student name, student ID is the primary key for this table, student name is the name of the student. We are also given a second table called exam with three different columns, exam ID, student ID and score. The combined columns exam ID and student ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table indicates that the student with student ID has a score points in the exam with ID exam ID. Okay. A quiet student is defined as the one who took at least one exam and did not score the high or the low score. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the students, student ID and student name being quiet in all exams. Do not return the student who has never taken any exam. Return the result table ordered by student ID. Some of you also commented in some of the videos that it would be beneficial to look at the SQL schema, right? So this is how this schema looks like. Uh, you can pause the video or take a screenshot here. Uh, okay. So now let's go through the example, right? So if we look at it, there are five different students and different exams, right? So there are, there is one, two, three, and four different exams, right? So different exam IDs. So which student at least took one exam? and didn't score highest or lowest marks in any of them right so basically if you look at it right so for exam number 10 right so exam id 10 student id 1 minimum and student id 3 maximum right so, so obviously 1 and 3 they are already eliminated right because we don't we want people who have at least taken one exam and they have neither scored maximum nor minimum now this is a uh, exam id 20 and since only one student took that exam so this is going to be the highest and lowest so one is already eliminated so we are only remaining with two four and five right for exam id 30 so one is minimum four is maximum so out of two four and five four is also eliminated right then for exam id 40 we have one two and four again uh, one is minimum four is maximum so four is eliminated so the only remaining is two and five however the question says that we need to report those students who have at least taken one exam but if you look at this right will did not take any exam right so five should also be eliminated so the only person left out is jade right and that is going to be the output so what we need to do in this case is firstly we can make two different columns which has for each of the exam ids what is the highest score and what is the lowest score because that is going to help us determine what all student id scored maximum or minimum in each of these exams so what i'm saying is from this table right called exam let's keep all the columns right so select star and then make two new columns firstly the maximum score for each exam and secondly the minimum score of each exam so we are going to use max of the score column and we are using a window function so we write over clause and then we write partition by the exam id because we need for every exam right so exam id right and let's alias this as max score similarly you need to do this for minimum score as well right so let me just copy this and make some changes so minimums of the score column right partition by exam id and alias this as min right let me run this let's see what we are getting okay so in the output we have you know different exam id student id score max score and min score right now what we can do is we can store this in a common table expression with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses right so this goes into parentheses right now what we need to do is some of you might think that okay so this is easy right so from this common table expression where like if we write something like this right so from this common table expression where right score is not equal to max score or score is not equal to min score return right return distinct student id right now can you tell me what is the problem with this okay 
So think about this, right? So if I do this, right? So we calculated the minimum and max score and we are saying, okay, wherever your score is not equal to max, maximum score or score is not equal to minimum score. So basically the score is not maximum or minimum for those return the student IDs, right? Now see what problem this code is going to create. So here, if you look at it, right? So this, these two rows will be eliminated because you know, this is the minimum and this is the maximum. So the remaining is student ID two here only one. So this will only be eliminated, right? For 30 exam ID 30, one and four will be eliminated. Three is going to be there, right? So two is remaining, three is remaining, right? Now for out of exam ID 40, right? So one and four are eliminated two. So two is already there, right? So two and three is present. But if you just, you know, stop your code here, so two and three will be returned in the output. But you, if you look at it, three is a student who scored maximum in one of the exams, right? So three should be eliminated out of it, right? So that is why we cannot rely on this directly. So what we should do is firstly, we should find out all the student IDs who have ever scored maximum or minimum, right? And store this in another common table expression. So we can change this query to write wherever your score is equal to either maximum score or your score is equal to minimum score, right? Return the distinct student IDs so that we know that, okay, this student in some of the exams scored either maximum or minimum and therefore they should be excluded out of it, right? So we can write and store this in a common table expression CTE2, right? And then this entire thing goes into parentheses. Uh, and then you need to also put a comma here, right? Because we are writing consecutive com com commentable expressions, right? So CT. So now CT2 has all the student IDs who have ever scored a maximum or a minimum score, right? Now, what we can do is from this same common table expression that we created first, right? We can write where your score is not equal to max score, right? Same as above or score is not equal to score is not equal to minimum score and right so here we, we saw that right if you stop your query here what the what problem is going to be there right so we need to make sure that okay either your score is not equal to the maximum part or is not equal to the minimum part and also make sure that student ID was never a part of a common table expression CT2, which holds the list of all the students who have ever scored ma maximum or minimum in any of the exams, right? So that is why we return and student ID not in, and then we write return the student ID, you don't need to write distinct again because here you already have distinct ones, right? So you do, can write return student ID from CTE2, right? So once we have this, then what we can do is we can simply return distinct, right? Return distinct student ID. Let me run this. Let's see what we are getting. Okay. So we are getting student ID two, right? The only person who took at least one examination and never scored a minimum or a maximum mark, right? Now we don't need just the student ID. We also need the student name, right? So again, what we can do is we can store these list of students who, you know, satisfy all the conditions in another common table expression. Let's say CTE three right it would be helpful for us right here you only have only one output right but in different test cases you are going to have like maybe let's say 10 20 outputs right so it is better to store this in a common table expression right so we ct3 as and then entire thing goes into parentheses again right so now once we have this right then what we are going to do is right let me just uh, okay so once we have this then what we can do is from this table called student, right? From this table called student, we should only keep those rows because we need to return both of the columns, right? So we can only keep those rows where student ID is in, and then you can return distinct or you even, you don't even need, need to write distinct because you already have saved distinct values. So return student ID from CTE three 
and once you have that you return both the columns and you also need to order by student id right so we write order by student student id okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again yes it is hard difficulty but if you think of about it it is not actually hard it is just lengthy and you have to you know make a certain number of commentable expressions but if you don't want to do this right you can even you know use the joining methods you know you don't even need to write all this entire long code right so you can do that as well let me know how the solution will look like in that so yeah let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video